my mini me. You've all seen him and I think you've actually quite enjoyed the videos that I've done with him. He's become a bit of a star in his own right. Let's be fair, he's more charismatic than myself. So I plan on using him a lot more in this channel. And that is why I think it's a time to give him his upgrade that he deserves. A lot of you have all been asking about replacement mouths and how to do it. And obviously it's something that I did with Dan of the Dead. So I think it's only fair that I do the same with my mini me. It's a new series making an animated film. It's my mini me in my animated life, the musical. Roll the titles. <laughs> Hello and welcome to My Animated Life with me, Pete Ellis. If you haven't already, please hit the like button, subscribe, ring that bell so you don't miss any of these videos and let's get straight into it. As you are more than aware, I work in the theatre and it's only fair that I give you a little bit of inside information into what I actually do. A lot of people have been asking like, what do you do? And obviously I did that one video, Press Night of Miss Saigon, which you can see right now. My name's Pete Ellis. This is my animated life. This is my full-time job as a deputy stage manager here at the Palace Theatre in Manchester. But I want to give you a little bit more of an insight into exactly how musical theatre is run. It's something that isn't really explained that much and I've always been thinking, you know, actually there isn't that much in the way of what goes on behind the scenes of musical theatre. You see the shows, but they don't show much of it from behind the scenes. And I thought what a great idea to actually show what I do in my professional career working in theatre. And why not do it in the form of a musical number or a musical sequence why don't i do my animated life the musical with my mini me and i'm going to show you how i work in my professional job in the theater from from when i first started to where i'm at now and i'm really excited about what i've got to show you and i'm going to show you a little bit more about it um well, come on then, I'll show you right now, come on. Here we are on the set for My Animated Life and this is where you will have seen most of the My Mini Me works and animations in action. This is also where you are now going to see My Animated Life, the musical. Now, I would love for you to be able to get into my thought process on how I'm actually going to do this. So. Let me explain. I am going to turn this set itself into an actual theatre. And it's going to be a theatre like you would have gone to if you were seeing a big West End show. I work at the Palace Theatre Manchester. We are a receiving theatre, so all of the shows that come to us bring all their own gear, all their own sets, props, you name it. It all comes on trailers, sometimes 10 to 12 trailers. It is built over the course of a couple of days and you end up with a full set that is built around what we call a proscenium. Now the proscenium is the very front of the stage. It kind of frames the stage. A bit like your TV. But once a proscenium arch is made, we will then be able to start concentrating on what happens inside on the actual stage itself. And that means working out what floor we want to put down, working out how we're going to divide the sides of the stage up into exits and entrances, how we're going to put the backdrop in and what kind of visuals we want to have on them, what other bits of set we want to fly in potentially, and what bits of scenery we want to drive onto the stage from these exits and entrances that we are going to make. That is all going to be explained to you as I'm more than aware you will not understand. 
The idea is that you'll get an insight into how a musical theatre show is built and you're going to see it through my mini-me in my animated life, The Musical. It will start off with a blank set and during the course of the musical number, the set will get built by myself, possibly a few other characters along the way because it is my animated life and by the end of it there'll be a massive musical theatre number with all singing, all dancing and sparkly things going on and lights flashing it's just going to progress into a big massive musical theatre number and you will see how my life progressed how a stage show is built and progressed to what you end up seeing at the end that is my idea i know it sounds crazy but I honestly feel like there is going to be a lot of fun had and you're really going to enjoy coming on this journey and seeing how I make a stop motion animation film in musical theatre format. It is something that's probably not been done before. I think it will be really fun and I hope you can get behind it. I want you to be involved in it. So when I'm making decisions like what piece of scenery should I put on the set? or what colour should I do this, or what backdrop colour should I do, or piece of image should I put there. I want your input. It is very much about how I would go down the process of making a film, but I want to use your input as this channel wouldn't be where it's at without you, the viewers. So, I am going to be making my animated life, the musical, in stop motion form with my mini me. I'm going to build a theatre on this very set and I'm going to show you the process from start to finish. So one of the first things as explained at the beginning of the video, I am going to be making my mini me better. He's going to be souped up. I'm going to get rid of these stick on mouthpieces which has served him very well for the past few months but we need to start looking at proper phonetic shapes and proper mouthpieces, replacement mouthpieces. And that is going to be the next video in the My Animated Life, the musical series. I hope you're excited. I hope you're happy with what I'm going to do. Please let me know in the comments below whether you think I'm absolutely crazy. Keep watching because even if you're not interested in musical theatre, you're still going to learn lots of stuff about how filmmaking and stop motion filmmaking is done through this channel. If you like Family Guy and Simpsons and all those kind of cartoons that have done these musical numbers, you'll see that that's what I'm trying to do with this. So don't get disheartened thinking I'm doing something stupid. It, you will enjoy it and this series is still going to give you so much insight into how I make this film. I still am going to be doing my tutorials and a few other videos at the same time as well. But my Animated Life, the musical series, will happen every two to three weeks. There'll be a new video to see where I'm up to. Hope that makes sense. My name's Pete Ellis. This is my animated life. If you haven't already, make sure you like, subscribe, hit the notification icon so you don't miss any more of these videos. I will see you in the next video. Peace.